Hey, what's up, guys? Dear Craft here. Today, we are going to see an API. I created the API, I coded it, uh, everything uh, from scratch. It took me a, a month or so. Yep, take take me a month. I uh, just gonna ask me. It's only seventy two lines of code, and why did it take a month? And that's because uh, I have to bypass so many things. So like bot verifications and uh, uh, from this this is just a background it's not gonna open your browser and automatically do this stuff for you this, this is just a script it will run in the background it doesn't require anything just you need to install python uh, i created this on python yep uh, i can't uh, make a button press with this script so i ca i have to analyze how the button press work on worked on their site to get more information just to create this api it took me a month or so yeah and yeah first of all you can ask me why api needed uh, first or uh, uh, every time you need to start a server you need to come to their website and you need to show login and then you have to uh, start the server but if you have an api like this you can link it with your discord bot or uh, skype bot or even messenger bot and you can just send a command uh, in a discord or skype or messenger or something and the bot will read the command and use this api to start your server which makes it really simple like i i can go to my discord and just uh, type a command and my bot will automatically start a server if you have a bot and if you don't have a bot it's still uh, you can use it on anything like maybe you can post a custom website and you can go to that website and there will be a two buttons so your friend uh, the site is hosting your friends can come to the site and or, or even the bot and they can just put the command for the bot or just they can press the button on the site then the api will automatically start and stop the server and yep and also this is the one thing i uh, before i code a uh, start coding i just want to make sure that uh, is there already an api exists because if there is already an api then i'm totally wasting my time and i uh, checked uh, uh, check um Adenos forums and they told api.adenos.org and i came to that and this is just a big meme and I just want an API but there is no API for Atenos so I coded my own API and I thought it will be helpful for people uh, if you guys are if, if you guys need it it, it will be uh, helpful so yeah and let's um, uh, use the API for, uh, I'm in a incognito mode because I don't want to it requires so many uh, uh, important uh, details for hello world api okay it's available so yep and i agree with it and let's create and let's uh, put this email address and i'm just gonna put password yes yes w o r d password and same here uh if you can use it uh, if you manage to get the same mail on temp mail, I don't care. So just a uh, temp mail address and password. Oh, my ad block is disabled. I don't. I don't know. If this, actually, this is one thing that makes me annoy a lot. Even though my ad block is disabled, I actually. Uh, it's really pain to uh, uh, turn on ad blocker on Atenos. So I turned off my art ad blocker still it's a uh, pain sometimes yeah, i don't know i don't know why it's uh thinking i'm using ad blocker when i'm disabled it so yeah and before that uh before we uh like uh, wait for this thing to load and i i really show you guys a few things that you need to have uh before you start and yeah uh i just made an example file so you need a header cookie i will show you guys what is header cookie and uh, later and you need a cookie and a sec i will show it what are those and 
we really have simple uh, console like uh, it will just uh, get your input and send your input this to to this function and this function checks if for uh, there is something like uh, okay yeah that, that, that that's for debugging so don't uh, don't uh, get mad yeah uh, this example file is to should i include or yeah i don't know uh, the link will be in the description uh, to my github page so yeah uh, yeah there is only four uh, option four things in the api uh, get status status of your server and start server it will start the server stop server stop the server get server info server info is the one of the hardest thing i coded and yeah st start and server info is harder uh, stop is not uh, actually harder yeah and let's check minecraft open yeah 1.14.30 latest version so okay yeah, i have i updated my mail i mean my minecraft so yeah first we need to take the cookie cookie is the easiest one you uh easiest one to get right uh like if it managed help me to right click and inspect element go to go to the inspect element if you are on uh if you are on chrome you need to go to the developers tools i don't know something like something that comes and yeah and you need to go to the uh, in cookie editor you will just see so many things these are the cookies on adrenos and but you don't need to go to anything you just need to go to the adrenos session and you don't need to even copy the name you just need to copy the value i'm just gonna copy this value and someone tell adrenos that i'm not using an ad blocker it's really annoying okay i we got the uh, uh okay something already installed i don't know what is that okay copy oh that's my actual account cookie i will block it out uh now it's now it's updated so yeah i, I will block that out i will uh, hope, uh, definitely block that out it had my actual cookie nope <laughs> I will block it out and yep first we got the cookie and we insert it here so now we need to get the header cookie and someone tell adnos that I am not using an ad blocker and you need to go to the inspect element on this page totally on this page and network and delete all the networks you have before and just press start the button and just click here and uh, you can accept <laughs> accept the uh, yeah you have to accept yeah uh, once you uh, get to this you need to the file start php and uh, header that thing once you got there you need to scroll uh, no you need to edit and recent res response and you need to copy the asec uh, this is the asec we need and you need to just paste it and control s Yes, I think I just pressed the wrong button and the Atronos is now giving me some sound and once you got the ASEC copy it from here and then you need to get the cookie you need to scroll down and there is a cookie and this is a really long one so I really hate it you need to copy a lot now my editor is going to show me a ton of things so yep uh, we got everything we needed and yep our we are uh, we got every every valid credentials uh, credentials to access the server now I will just uh, use command prompt and uh, command prompt and I will just uh, see what here dot pi and break it outside the loop what uh, uh, where is that break function that's to check the value oh okay I uh, will just the break need don't need to be there but yeah we can keep heat if we want yeah and let's uh 
start it again and okay and what cookies uh, okay okay I just need to create a cookie okay I made modifications to make this simpler which made it complicated right now yeah actually if you've seen the first version you will be confused a lot uh, because I just it's there is no thing check valid cookie okay and if log out and log in Atmos API has no attribute stick valid input yeah first time Oof. okay so many things yeah I just uh, made modification to make it simpler and I just had so many issues okay now it should work fine yep it's working so uh, so okay and let's uh, first we are going to check the status it's already online but we are going to use this thing to uh, see status first time just uh, interrupt this and copy and clear the screen because it's messy and okay now i just use this and yep here we go we got it and now i'm going to check the status status and it's gonna check the status and yeah it shows we are online and i'm just gonna say star because uh, if we start the server it's already running then it will show server is already running now i'm going to say stop now it will stop the server you guys can see that it stopped the server and we can actually start it again once it's stopped yeah and if we press uh, put it again uh, stop again it will say server already offline and yeah so we won't get any issues so I can also we can also use info uh, info will send uh, this uh, weird line uh, you need to uh, change it to your comfortable the, here is a IP here is a port and here is a software uh, yeah let me come here and yeah here I mentioned Java, Java software and bedrock software currently they only have two software so one in the list it will check when you get a server info it will get the software here and it gets a software and turn it into a, a, a simple text and the if a statement will check if the software in java list then it will consider the software as java software and it will uh, just get the ip address uh, if uh, if it is in the bedrock software list it will get the uh, uh, port also because uh, uh, here we have port but if you created a java server it doesn't have any port so yeah that's why uh, yep and uh, the software we are already create, got the software so we don't need to get the software again yep that's how the get server info function works so yeah and then we have a uh, start server let me explain you guys of maybe i can first go with the get uh, status yeah uh, get status will uh, uh, log in using the cookie and headers uh, and then it will use the beautiful scoop and get the uh, website data and check uh, the status and yeah uh, span tag it's actually in the span tag and let me go ahead and just press it here and you guys can see span tag and uh, status label uh, status label hyphen label i don't know why status label hyphen label yeah okay and um, uh beautiful scopes uh syntax that's a uh, class because python also have a keyword class so they want to they don't want to mess up with python so they have a 
underscore uh, at the end yep and you probably we, you can just understand this understand most of the code just by looking at it and and also let me come here and I just uh, called uh, imported the API it imports the API file okay it import the file and from that file I imported the the Adrenos API class and then uh, inside of the I declare the server equal to Adrenos API and I just gave some input inputs uh, header headers cookie and cookie and ASEC and the init function uh, will get the cookies and headers and ASEC and I already specified the user agent here so you need to specify you don't need to specify the user agent again so uh, the website will think we are using an uh, Mozilla Firefox version 5.0 in Windows yeah in Windows yeah it will think that and cookie is to directly uh, login uh, login so you need you don't need to log in again because if I made it yeah I, I could just simply uh, yeah get the username and password as in, in as an input but it will make the script so complex so to keep it simple you need to get the cookie you need to get the adrenal session you don't need to get the entire uh, uh, entire cookie you just need to get the adrenal session uh, why it's showing this cookie i don't know why the cookie is continuously changing um, i will verify it's it's uh, my actual cookie or this uh, cookie i think this cookie and the actual cookie gets interfered because it stores in my hard drive so yeah i don't want to show my actual cookie again so yep and you just need a header 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 is header and asec uh adnos uses header cookie and asec as a verification so we need uh asec and and header to verify the request is uh uh valid yeah that's why we need to give uh, uh give this thing yep yeah you guys can see that asec and then yeah header is important so yeah make sure you just give this inputs and uh, yeah then this script is sim just simple it gets the server is equal to atonos and it calls every single function so yeah when we get the input it calls this function this function is in this uh, thing yeah script so yeah this script will be on uh, it will be on my github a link will be in description and someone tell Atonos that I am not using an ad blocker so it's really annoying even though I just disabled my ad blocker entirely from my browser and also if you guys if someone is making a video on this api because according to that Atonos forum a lot of people want the api so i think this video will get some views and if you are also going to if you are a youtuber going to make a video just give me a credits that's all i want i don't want anything from you i just need a credits uh, yeah for creating this uh, I will put the API file and example file in my github and link will be in the description so yeah you guys can see that you can start and stop server uh, if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button if you guys going to use this somewhere just give me a credit 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 just give me a credit that I created this thing and yep uh, that's all I need and Make sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome uh, videos like this i mostly don't make coding videos on this channel i just want to make uh, minecraft videos but this is somehow related to the minecraft so i consider this as a minecraft video some uh, uh, link in the description this is how you guys saw use the uh, I don't know CAPA my my API not the uh, they don't have official and this is not this is also not an official uh, so yeah uh, thanks for watching bye guys